Sonic Origins is almost here, and a whole new generation of Sonic fans await some of gaming's best platforming titles in the forms of Sonic 1, 2, 3 and & Knuckles, and CD. OGs like yours truly have been there since the very beginning, and with this, have garnered a wealth of knowledge and secrets from rinsing these absolute beauties of Sonic games. And thanks to the recent overwhelming reception and performance for my Sonic 1 Easy Emeralds video, I'm now going to indulge you with some of the craftiest ways to defeat Sonic 1's boss battles. It doesn't matter if you're new to these games or a seasoned OG, there'll be something for everyone here. Just keep in mind that due to various ports and emulations, some of what you see in this video is subject to change. But don't sweat it, because I'm going to be guiding you through these bosses in more ways than one. Now before we get stuck in, if you like what you see in this video and want to know more tips, tricks, guides and secrets for these OG 2D Sonic games, then please like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment what you'd like to see in the next Sonic Secrets upload. If we can get this video to 100 likes, then your favourite OG will be back to reveal even more Sonic Secrets in the future. And don't forget to check out this channel on June 23rd when Sonic Origins releases releases, you're going to be seeing something really special. In what is widely considered to be the game's easiest boss fight, one doesn't have to sweat too much here. This boss fight tests your basic controls as well as your early momentum knowledge. Your two safe zones are located under each platform, more specifically at the very bottom left and bottom right of the screen. Use these areas whenever you feel pressured, if not just to keep those precious rings intact. You will not get hit here. The earliest that you can hit Robotnik as he hovers down is just after the third beat of his awesome boss theme. As soon as that third beat lands, that's your cue to press and hold the jump button to reach Sonic's maximum height and land your first hit on the dastardly scientist. From here, you're now in a position to absolutely well on Robotnik for a further five times before he starts swinging his wrecking ball around. The further Robotnik travels away from Sonic, the more you'll need to be conscious of holding right on your controller after hitting him to efficiently land back on the platform, allowing you to keep your momentum going. Failing to do so will land Sonic back on the ground. And if you've done it right, this first boss battle shouldn't take you longer than 10 or so seconds. You can also try hitting Robotnik as the ball swings towards you. This tactic will create a small gap for Sonic to fall safely between the scientist and the ball. You can then either seek safety under one of the platforms, or if you're feeling particularly feisty and daring, you could try jumping on the opposite platform and rinse this method until Robotnik's defeated. Careful though, Sonic isn't as fast as Robotnik's Wrecking Ball. If you need a little something extra to boost your confidence, try making a full jump here to grab yourself an invincibility special on top of the palm tree. Sprint to the boss area and do your worst. These specials are about 20 seconds, so this will give you more than enough time to take advantage and defeat Robotnik before it expires. Marble Zone's boss fight isn't too dissimilar from Green Hill Zone's. You've got two platforms on either side here that act as both safe and danger zones. In the middle, a lava pit with frequent eruptions will try to hit you should you overexert yourself. Robotnik will appear on screen just after the first high notes of his theme music. This is your cue to land your first three hits. The smartest, fastest and safest way to defeat this boss is by simply remaining on the right platform until Robotnik returns from the left side of the screen. Give him a wallop when he starts to change sides by holding down the jump button for maximum height. This should negate any eruptions from the centre of the screen. Continue to hit him for another two times before making a full jump to the opposite platform, avoiding Robotnik's lava drop. Remember to hold the opposite direction after landing a hit on Robotnik to ensure you have as much momentum to land Sonic safely on the ground. Wait for Robotnik to make his way back to the left platform and simply repeat the process. The trick to defeating this boss is not by jumping on top of Robotnik, but by hitting him from underneath. 
Doing so will save you valuable time before Robotnik even has a chance at eliminating the ground beneath your feet completely. The safe zones work differently here. Robotnik will only attempt to stab you once per run, so once as he flies right, and once when he flies left. Effectively then, your safe zones are limited, but that's okay. You'll defeat this boss in less than 15 seconds if you follow these instructions. Start by situating yourself on the very right of the screen. Robotnik will fly in and immediately drop down and expose his spike. As soon as you see this coming, move Sonic slightly left on this position and start jumping. If you can preempt the attack, even better. Your new position will avoid the spike, as well as the chance of falling down from the now exposed floor. And since you're underneath Robotnik, you can take full advantage of the invincibility frames from hitting the mad scientist, allowing you to stand within Robotnik's animation without being hit. Meaning you can now hit him more times than you could by jumping on top of him. By doing this, you should land around 4 or 5 hits from this point alone. You'll also notice that the Eggmobile floats up and down during each run. You can hit Robotnik a further 2 times when his pod reaches its lowest position. Take advantage of this. It's always best, I find, to lure Robotnik to each end of the floor, allowing you to control a large chunk of the middle. If all of these tips are done correctly, Robotnik will be toast in no time at all. Now, if you're not too comfortable with this approach, follow the same steps, but instead of jumping under Robotnik, just jump on top of him for one or two hits, depending on your confidence. But just be sure to keep in mind that there are only 10 blocks here. The faster you destroy Robotnik in this battle, the better. You can always grab yourself a shield as well as an extra life right before the boss fight by navigating to this point up here. There's also an invincibility special down here too. To maximise its limited time, try to jump on top of it from your position here, holding down the jump button to maintain Sonic's return journey. Every second counts. Welcome to the hardest boss in Sonic 1, and to be honest, one of the hardest bosses in Sonic history. Providing, of course, that you actually want to defeat this bastard before he escapes off screen. There are no safe zones here, and you'll be up against your own patience and momentum knowledge rather than the actual level itself. This segment comprises of the level's spike and fireball traps, as well as the varying ledges ranging in different heights as you traverse upwards. But then of course there's also the rising water which puts even more pressure on you. The only way to make this encounter an easier time is to simply be patient and let the bastard escape until you meet him again in the next zone. The spikes will unnerve you, the flames will annoy you, and the rising waters will alarm you. But try to focus purely on navigating the obstacles rather than reaching the surface. The thing that kills players in this fight, more often than not, is lack of patience. Don't focus on anything other than the one immediate obstacle that currently stands in your way. If it's a spike, wait and jump. If it's a flame, wait and jump. And you see these platforms? You can jog over these. These tactics should take some of the pressure away. And remember to grab the shield on the far left just before you fight Robotnik if you need it. Now, I'm gonna be honest guys. If you're dead set on destroying Robotnik here, just know that it's not gonna happen right away. The key thing in this encounter is having full control of your jumps and momentum. The level actually gives you a little practice run with regards to mastering your jumps with this section here. Use this space to practice your jumps so that Sonic just manages to to clear the peak of each ledge. Don't just hold the jump button down. Practice traversing by varying your jump pressure. This will make things easier later on. Again, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely have not yet figured out a concrete, distinctive way to consistently defeat Robotnik here, so I can't verbally guide you on this one. But I will say that landing the first three hits within the first three seconds of this encounter will give you a great head start. And to do this, you know what? Just watch the clip. Thank you. 
This is another easy boss fight, which many will make more difficult on their first attempts. The whole screen will be pretty much compromised here. Robotnik will constantly drop down iron spikes that will eventually explode into four deadly fragments. The three seesaws are the only way to hit Robotnik, and standing on one of these will actually create your own safe zone, as Robotnik isn't programmed to release his explosives if Sonic simply stands on one of these. The most efficient way to start this boss is to remain on the right hand side of the screen when Robotnik appears. Take care not to jump on the seesaw until Robotnik starts to drop the first bomb. Again, if you can preempt this, you'll have a better head start. Let the first bomb launch Sonic, remembering to hold left to reach Robotnik efficiently. Once you hit him, land on the right of the middle seesaw. If done quickly enough, this will launch the already dropped explosive back at Robotnik. From here, keep to the left of the screen and quickly jump on the left seesaw allowing the bomb to launch Sonic back at Robotnik. Take care not to pass through Robotnik's release pod after hitting him, as this can actually hurt the Blue Hedgehog on the way down. Now just stick to the left and middle seesaws from here on out to keep things simple and efficient. And don't be afraid to think fast and determine which approach to hitting Robotnik makes the most sense. It's also worth noting that the bombs won't explode in mid-air. So even if you see one of these about to blow, jumping on its seesaw will ensure that it doesn't explode. You can also stand on the middle of any seesaw and hit Robotnik if his eggmobile glides low enough. And since he's programmed not to hit you while you stand on one of said seesaws, you'll have no worries in easily defeating this boss at your own pace. The final zone, it's finally here and now you've got to use pretty much everything that you've learned up until this point to defeat Robotnik. You have but one safe zone in this entire battle and even then will be compromised thanks to these electric orbs. The only time you'll be safe here is when Robotnik tries to crush you into a blue pizza. None of Robotnik's piston attacks can actually affect you here though. Robotnik's piston attacks are random so you can't form a patterned attack here. You can also perform a ground spin attack should Robotnik use either of the lower pistons. Try to stay within the middle right of the screen. This gives you an exit route if Robotnik tries to squash you with the middle top and bottom right pistons. You're simply less likely to get squashed here. So if you're looking at a more laid back and easier method to defeating this last boss fight, take this tip into account. And keep an eye on the formation of the electric orbs. As they charge, look for the widest gap and stand underneath it. The safest way to avoid these guys as they float towards you is to simply jump between them. But if you're feeling particularly rambunctious, try holding your ground like the bad mother trucker you are. Careful though, some gaps may be a little too tight to try this. And that's it! You've just defeated all of Sonic 1's bosses with a little help from your favourite OG. You're welcome. If this video helped you out and you'd like to see more, please remember to give it a thumbs up as that's the best way to let me know. Remember to subscribe to EBT for more OG Sonic content as well as much, much more. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon.